The well-known travel and coach company Five Stars Tours shut its doors abruptly last Wednesday, leaving thousands of customers scrambling to make alternative plans. How many have booked coach tickets in advance for the Lunar New Year holidays, especially those who were planning to go back to Malaysia? Our entry sources say that the company had not paid its staff's CPF contributions for several months, and the Consumers Association of Singapore OK says it so far received 538 complaints. Our 29 customers are seeking compensation at the small claims tribunal and some of you were affected by the sudden closure and you shared your experiences with us on Facebook so here's some of them Angelina says that she is affected and while she was trying to make a claim at the small claims tribunal she saw an old man trying to claim for an amount which was double hers and she says that she felt quite sorry for him Oh, this one's from Sin E says that she was already in the midst of packing up, packing for a trip when she heard the news. And she says that she's now at a loss because she has, she, oh, she's already paid for her hotel in Malaysia in advance. Oh, Georgina here is a regular customer at Five Stars Tours and she's shocked that it closed without warning. Uh, she got her ticket to Malaysia in preparation for the Lunar New Year weekend and will now have to find another company. And this one's from Jimmy who says that, you know, there were warning signs before the tour agency closed. And he says that it's always wise to buy travel insurance to protect ourselves from unforeseen circumstances like this one. So to discuss the issue with me is the executive director of CASE, Mr. Sia Seng Chun. Thank you very much for coming in, Mr. Sia. So yeah. um, the closure of five stars, very sudden. So far, 538 complaints. Uh, how, are, how, how is CASE helping these customers? Well, Case will do uh, all it can to assist the consumer in various ways. We have written to the uh, company Five Stars Directors and hopefully we can fix our meeting to discuss on ways to assist consumer. Uh, we would assist consumer if they want to file a claim with the Small Claim Tribunal. Uh, and if the company goes into liquidation uh, subsequently, then of course it will help the consumers to file their claim uh, with the liquidator. Okay, so on average, you know, it sounds like a very long, drawn process. How long will it take to resolve each case since there's so many? Well, a normal complaint will usually take about one to three months to resolve. Uh, I suppose this one will probably take a bit longer because if, if there is any uh, court case involved, then of course uh, it will drag on. Okay, so what advice would you give to consumers to protect themselves from incidents like this? Because a company could close down at any time. So in this case of a travel agency, to buy proper insurance? Yes, of course, uh, for consumers, we would advise consumers to buy proper insurance at the point where they purchase a travel package. Uh, we also advise consumers to make sure that the travel agency they sign up with uh, is uh, licensed uh, travel agents with the Singapore Tourism Board. Mm -hmm. You can always check this at the Singapore Tourism Board website. And thirdly, we will advise consumers to sign up with case trusted uh, agencies because they would have clear refund policy in the event of cancellation of tour or if there's any dispute, they are required to help consumers to resolve the dispute. So, uh, you help customers with dispute resolution, but what is your role in dealing with errant companies? Well, uh, for companies that are in breach of the uh, Consumer Protection Fair Trading Act, uh, we do uh, invite them to come for voluntary compliance agreement. Okay. Or if they do not uh, want to sign the voluntary compliance agreement, then we take them to court. We will take up injunction against them to stop them from furthering the unfair practice. Okay, so Mr. Sia, um, some numbers here. In 2013, a case received over 29,000 complaints. How many were related to travel? Well, uh, travel is about 1,380. Okay. And which were the top three industries then? Well, the top three industries are, you know, motor vehicles, beauty, mm. and uh, electronics and electrical uh, appliances. So travel would still be quite far down the list then? Yes, travel is probably six, seven notch down. Yeah. Okay, so again, if, if I were a consumer and I'm not sure what to do if my travel agency was to go bust or a beauty salon, a beauty parlor, uh, how should I go about making a proper complaint, the right process? Well, uh, they can come to us. Uh, we have uh, various ways in which a consumer can file their complaint. They can go online, they can call us or they can go to our office directly mm -hmm. and our officers will be there to help them over the phone, over the internet and also uh, at our office.
And for two reasons, I suppose they need to call the Singapore Tourism, Tourism Board. Board. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sia. It's great speaking to you. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Okay. And that was Mrs. Sia on how you can protect yourself uh, as a consumer.